Hello, welcome back to Michael Jackson's Adventures in Gravity Land, also known as Antipole. Apparently we're in a machine shop, you know, where you buy machines, <laughs> or something. Well, it's full of turbines, so it definitely has that industrial vibe going on. It's a bit less scrap brain zone than some of the earlier levels, and a bit more metropolis zone, perhaps. <clears throat> I compare all platform games to Sonic. I am a Sonic fan. I know some people of my acquaintance are not Sonic fans, but POO to them! Sonic's great. Anyway, oh god, it's the infinitely respawning batteries not included things again. Alright, let's take a quick window to run across the ceiling. Okay, oh god, that coin's going to be a pain in the balls to get. Shit. That went even worse than I expected. Now let's grab this heart, hopefully. Yeah. And then take that guy out and quickly, quickly. Oh. There isn't there there just isn't enough clearance to get that coin. I don't think there's enough space to fit down there. I mean there must be, but I don't know how I'm meant to do it. I'll give it one more try. No, no, yes, yes, yes! Oh god. Oh shit! <sighs> I know picking up those coins isn't strictly essential, and I think I've missed most of the challenge coins on most of the levels, but when I see one, my OCD streak insists on me at least trying to get it. Plus, also, you know, I'm, I'm doing this as a spectator sport now, and it'd be embarrassing to not at least make the attempt in front of you people. So run across the ceiling and try to get the coin back. God, back. Ugh. Okay. Well, at least I survived it, but I can't afford to make another mistake. Because I only have one hit left. And then down here. Oh God. Right. Moving platforms. That should be pretty straightforward. The slightly twitchy jumping isn't doing me any favors, but. It's okay, managed it. Hop onto this moving platform and get past the spikes. Excellent. Kill the bunny eared guys. Hopefully, yeah. Um, kill this bomber fellow with his own bombs. Yeah, that went okay. Hop across here. Another bomber fella. Who was it who said, if you bomb into the abyss, the abyss bombs into you? <laughs> okay. Right, there we go. Get across here. Over these spikes to this platform. Alright. I mean, I'm. this whole thing is a little tense, thanks to my lack of health, but I felt okay about it so far. Until now, because now we have another blind jump. This may well be the end of me. Alright, here we go. Twitch across, up here. Oh, I can't believe I made that. And I'm going to do basically the same thing again for this one. Drop down, sort of twitch across there with that characteristic flailing at a moth kind of horizontal wiggle thing. And then hopefully have enough, enough gravity energy left to manipulate myself onto whatever platform is there. Wish me luck. Oh! Scrotum. I really, really hate this blind jumping shit. And I've mentioned in a previous video that my little buddy, the indie gamer chick, thinks very highly about the pole, and that surprises me, because I know she also hates Leaps of Faith. So, considering the prevalence of them in Antipole, I'm surprised she rates the game as highly as she does. Come on! Bomb him in the face! Standard orders for the British military, I feel. Bomb them in the face! Okay. Oh! God! I've never understood spikes in games that injure you when you touch the side of them. I mean, I, I get it in a game sense, like they're, they're hazardous. It's sort of a block of hazardous stuff. But 
from a sort of logic point of view, it doesn't make any sense. Touching the side of something that's sharp doesn't hurt you. Uh, anyway, ask anyone who's ever been stabbed with the flat side of a knife. Oh my god, I'm bleeding! No. Anyway, I'm just delaying the inevitable death that will follow my attempt to get across this jump. Here we go. Ah, not so bad, but then I had enough health to carry it off this time. Right, kill Bob the robot. More blind jumping, woohoo. Spin across, over there, okay. Right, the block. So, I assume I might have to block one of those lasers off again. Like before, but we'll see. Oh, okay. I think I have to use it to get across here. Because there are so many... Fuck me! Actually, I have no idea what I'm meant to do there. Well, I'll just kill myself because I have to start the room over anyway. So I can't stand on that block to get across the spikes because the block itself moves with my gravity effect. That's confusing. Um, so, I don't know, maybe jump on... Fuck! God, the jumping in this is so loose. Okay. Um, can I get over that? Yeah. And uh, now, can I maybe bring it up here? No? Oh, fuck balls. <sighs> I actually don't know how I'm going to solve this. Usually I at least have some ideas as to how to approach things, but this time I don't have a bloody clue. I suppose I could try to manipulate the block onto that next set of spikes, like this, like this. Like this? Yeah, okay. And then I could try to get over there and lift it up, I guess. Like that, but... But, um... You know, I'm not sure how to proceed without getting killed. No. Nope. Uh, fucking... Oh! <sighs> okay. I'm a, at a bit of a loss here. I'm not really sure how to go about this. Because I... <sighs> Even if I manage to get that box up the shaft, I don't know how to get it sort of over the top bit, and myself over the top bit at the same time. Can I? Is my field big enough to... No. I was thinking maybe I can lift the box up the far side and myself up this side and thereby sort of carry it all the way up like that, but my field isn't big enough. Uh, here we go then. Okay. Ah! Uh. I really, really don't know how to go about this. Give me a second to think about it while I take a swig of tea. Okay, the tea didn't bring any ideas with it. So I think I'm going to have to just kind of keep wrestling with this until I luck out and hit upon the solution by pure chance. It's my usual puzzle solving technique. Okay. No! No! That's wrong! Wrong! Bad box! <sighs> Try again. No! No! Behave yourself, you ass bag! Yes! Yeah, almost! No! Re Recharge! Oh, shit! This is becoming annoyingly punishy. <sighs> okay, try again. 
don't know why I leapt over there. I think I'm losing the plot. Okay, get over. <laughs> oh, God, this room is going to be the end of my let's play. At this rate. No! <laughs> Jesus! Fucking cockbag! Which was the name on his birth certificate. Little known fact. <sighs> this is beginning to reach ghoulin levels of frustration. Don't do this to me, Saturnine Games. I mean it. I mean it. Don't do this. Don't fuck me over. Alright, well I think I got the box over there, so hopefully I just need to manipulate myself over the top. Which sounds like a dreadful euphemism. Oh, ha, 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 ha. No! I don't see that I have enough gravity power to even get over there. Uh. Okay, here we go. Up the shaft. Oh, fuck! Up the shafts, go over. And I've only got one hit left. Again. Doubt I'm going to make it. No, thought not. See, I don't have enough gravity power to get over there without taking a hit. So what it comes down to is not, in fact, doing it correctly, but doing it without taking too many hits. So I can take that last one on the chin. That's irritating. Okay. Just get right over so I can. so I have enough space to manipulate you, please. Ugh, alright, I'll have to do. Here we go. Ugh. The box didn't go all the way over. Annoying, but can't be helped. Come on, up the fucking. Ugh! Yes, I'm dead, I get it. Dodge that health, because I'm thinking that, that health picket there might be what saves me. If I come back up here and get it, before I make the final push. <sighs> so, let's then push that over. Jump over, lift the bot. Oh, fuck balls! No! Oh. Uh. This doesn't feel like a well designed puzzle. Maybe it's just me, but this this feels like an unreasonable puzzle. Like I don't feel like it's skill or thought that's the solution to this. I feel like it's luck. And that always irritates me. Okay, at least the box is in a good position this time. Here we go. Up the shaft. Get over, get over. Okay, the box is on the far side. Good. So, go back up here. Get the health. Yes. Okay, four hits. As long as I didn't cock up this first bit too badly, that should be enough to get me over. Here we go. Alright, that's one hit down. Two. Fuck me! Alright, try again. Over the box goes. Flick it on there. Move it over. Lift it. Shoot it. Head back. Uh, regenerate my energy up here. Grab the health. Okay. Now again, as long as I don't cock it up too badly, I should be able to get past. Okay, up the fucking... Thing. Oh, balls! <sighs> one hit makes all the difference. Because of the knockback effect, if you take one hit, you don't have enough gravity power to get past. <sighs> Alright. Another go. Here we go. Over. Up the shaft. Push the box. 
the box isn't quite over, but maybe, maybe I might be able to make it anyway. As long as I don't take a hit on the way up there. Here we go. Yes, 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 yes. Come oh, fuck! It actually knocked me off the platform. I'm having a laugh. Ah. Oh. Okay, one more go and then I'll call it for this episode. Because I'm losing patience and I need a bacon sandwich before I continue. Playing anti-pole hungry isn't the best plan. Come on, Michael Jackson, you can do it. There's nothing you can't do. Okay, here we go. Up the shaft. Push the box, push the box. Oh, it didn't go over again. Balls! At least I only took one hit this time. So that's something at least. Oh, piss off. Stupid high jump. Okay. So I have to get up there without taking a hit, move the box without taking a hit, and drop down the far side. Unlikely, but I'll give it a go. Yes. Oh, fuck! See, if you hit these spikes at the top even once, it knocks you back off the platform. That's really, really annoying. Come on. Oh! <sighs> well, rejoin me after I've had some lunch for another attempt at this room. See you then.